welcome to our next topic optimized purchasing so today we're going to learn these topics manually assign non-assigned purchase requisition to a source automatically assign non-assigned purchase requisition to source using collective transactions convert purchase requisition into purchase order manually convert purchase requisition into purchase order automatically and finally we'll see how to create an automatic background job so before we start um, let me tell you what we're going to see here today so we're going to see here few four transaction basically in this topic so one will be ME 56 this transaction we use to assign source of supply to a purchase equation so if a purchase equation doesn't have any source of supply then we will use this transaction to assign them and then we'll see ME 57 this transaction is used for assign and process purchase requisition so assign is same like this assign but the additional thing here is process so process means you not only assigning the source of supply to a purchase requisition also you processing it processing means you converting it to a purchase order so basically what you're doing is you're doing two steps in one transaction one step is uh, within the same transaction is to assign a source of supply and the second step is to convert it to a purchase order immediately then we'll see another transaction ME 58 which is to uh, this is used for converting assigned PDEC to purchase order and then we'll see another transaction ME 59N which is used to same as above but the only difference is automatically so this we can say manually and this will say automatically so let us start with the first ME56 and then we'll move on to the other transaction so we'll start with the business example first so in your company some plant guys request material while creating a purchase equation where they do not maintain vendor or source of supply so what that means is maybe in your company you're working as a purchase officer or the or MM consultant say and a lot of plant people or maybe the sales guy or maybe other department guys whoever needs to procure something they create a purchase requisition but when they create the purchase requisition they have no idea who is the right vendor or where we should be getting this procurement from so in that case what they do is they create the purchase requisition but they do not assign it a vendor so that's first scenario and then these purchase equation are then converted manually so first what you do is people uh, create these purchase equation and as a purchase officer uh, purchasing officer what they will do is they will be converting it to a purchase uh, sorry assigning it to a assigning a source of supply to this purchase equation the right source of supply and then these purchase equation are then converted manually or automatic by the purchasing department into the purchase order or maybe the schedule scheduling agreement delivery schedule lines or request for quotation so let us assume that the first scenario that how we can process non-assigned purchase requisition so again we'll, we'll just think of a scenario say i'm a i'm the plant guy i'm the production manager or i'm the material planner and what i need to do is to i need to procure some material so what I will do, I will create a purchase requisition, but I have no idea from where I, I need to procure these goods. So here we'll be using ME56 transaction. So, so I will first create a purchase requisition. I will go to ME51 and, and here say I'll use the material that I used earlier, ABC123, I'll, I'll use this material 
And I'll say I need maybe 10 quantity, press enter. Land is 1000. And you can see here, there is no vendor assigned here. Okay, so I will leave it like that. And I will leave it, leave this transaction for the purchasing officer or the purchasing department to assign the right vendor. So I will just save it as it is, but make sure when you do it, this source determination is not checked. If this is checked, system will try to find the source automatically. But in this case, we'll make sure this is unchecked and we'll just save it without any vendor assignment. So if I save it here, so it created the purchase requisition number. You can see at the bottom, I'll click on the message, that number. I'll copy this number and I'll note that down here. So I created this purchase requisition. So what the purchase, uh, uh, the purchasing officer will do, they will use this transaction to assign a source of supply. So if I go to this transaction ME56, or you can use the menu path here, you can go to the menu path uh, logistics, material management, and purchasing, then purchase requisition, and follow on function, ME56 assign. So double click on it, and here you can filter. So here you can, you have a lot of ways to search for the existing uh, non-assigned purchase equation. If I execute for everything, it will show you all everything which is there in the database. But for in my case, I'll go back. I can either enter my purchase equation number, execute. It will give you that purchase equation number or you can Instead, you can say your material number. So if I enter my material number that I use earlier, ABC123, and I can search for all the purchase requisition linked to this material number, which are not assigned. So here it's showing you one, two, three, three purchase requisition here that require a source of supply. So my requisition was this, 6233, that one. So here again, you have different ways to assign it. So if I select this one, if I want to assign it to this one, I can select this one. I can select all of them or I can process one of, one by one. So let me select only one here. And here, I have different ways to assign. Like I can assign automatically, I can assign manually. So what that means is if I select this one, if I click on assign manually, manually means I need to find the vendor manually. For example, I can search for fixed vendor, like the vendor that you want to assign. So I can say, Search for the vendor, study, star. So I'll pick one vendor here, say this one. So I can assign this vendor here, or I can remove this one, or I can search for an info record, PIR record, or I can search for a scheduling agreement. So in this case, say I want to search for PIR record that should be there uh, in the system already. If I click on this search button, and here you can search by, see, you can see the tabs on the top, search by vendor, search by, search by material, or you can, you can click on the corner here, you can see all the options. Just make sure you select the material option, info report per material, and here, my material is ABC123. So I want to search for any existing PI record. I can search for this one, and it's showing me that this material is set up with this vendor, that vendor, that four different vendors. So I can select this first vendor, say for example, that PR record. And I can say, click on assign source of supply. It's asking for a purchase requisition. I will enter the purchase requisition here and I will click on assign source of supply. It's just a message there, there's a scheduling agreement. Just say, okay. And you can see here, it assigned a source of supply here at the bottom. So that is one way to do it. Okay, so other way to do it is, uh, I will, if you want to cancel this assignment here, you can select this one again, and you can click on this button, cancel assignment. It will cancel the assignment. So other way to do is to click on the assign automatically. What that is, if you click on um, assign automatically here, System will show you all the PIR record and the scheduling agreement that